Kelly Litza, and I am doing my Humanities Artistic Critique speech on Edgar Degas. Edgar Degas was a famous French artist who lived mainly in the 1800s. Like many artists of his time, he was not immediately recognized when he first began his artistic career. Hilary Germain Edgar Degas was born on July 19, 1834 in Paris, France. He was born to Augusta and Celestine Degas. His father was a Frenchman who wrote opera arias, but was a banker by trade, and his mother, born in New Orleans, Louisiana, was an opera singer. The Degas family lived well enough in the middle class society that they could afford to send Edgar to a private boys school. While there, he received a fine classical education. When Edgar was just 13 years old, his mother passed away, leaving him and his four siblings with his father. Augusta Degas was knowledgeable in uh, the arts and the artistic career uh, and encouraged Edgar to go into uh, being an artist himself. Uh, in 1855, Edgar was admitted to Les Ecoles de Beaux Arts um, in Paris, where he studied under, studied under Louis Lamothe. After entering into many salon exhibitions, Degas was finally recognized in 1868. Degas had become a part of the Impressionist group, and as such, he frequently met with other uh, famous Impressionists such as Manet, Cezanne, Renoir, Monet, Pizarro, and Mary Cassatt. When the Franco-Prussian War broke out in 1870, Degas enlisted in the National Guard to fight alongside other countrymen. When the war ceased, he returned home to continue his work. In 1881, he sculpted the little dancer, age 14, out of a bronze material. To finish his work, he used a real girl's hair wig, a real tutu and bow, um, to make his sculpture look more lifelike. Many critics that first saw this uh, thought it was cruel, but that didn't stop uh, Degas from continuing his artistic work. In 1886, Degas was privileged to exhibit 23 uh, works of art in the New York City Art Show. A few years later, in 1905, he took 35 pieces to London for an exhibition there. Degas was forced to give up his work in 1912 when he moved from his last studio due to his reduced sight and hearing. Edgar Degas died on September 27, 1917. Degas was famous for his many ballet portraits. Although ballet was his most prominent subject matter, Degas also painted many horse races, families, and nude women. Some of his more famous works include Girl Drying Herself, The Bolelli Family, The Star, The Dance Class, and a sculpture titled The uh, Little Dancer, Age 14. Edgar Degas was a very prominent painter in the 1800s and re was reviewed in the textbook in Chapter 4 alongside his other Impressionist cohorts. Degas was a representational painter. Everything that he painted had um, already happened or was happening at the time he painted it. And as a viewer looking at these paintings, you feel like you're really there um, seeing them happen for yourself. Uh, detail was a large part of Degas' artistic qualities. He rarely put anything in a smudge uh, viewing sense. He always uh, detail was critical uh, to his artistic form. Um, he used many mediums in his works, um, including oil on canvas and watercolors, and he also used charcoal and um, other things of that nature. Um, but the oil on canvas and watercolors were his two most popular choices. When Degas first started painting, he didn't receive any significant attention from the critics. After he got a start, more critics came out uh, to view his works, but while there were some, um, some who hated his work and some that loved it, there still wasn't any noteworthy names. Uh, after he'd been painting for a while, uh, the critic Edmund Durante came out. Durante thought of Degas as the most important member of the Impressionist group, um, and Durante was also a subject in one of Degas' uh, paintings, and one of his friends as well. Uh, Edgar Degas was a fine artist of many talents. His use of color, texture, and line really bring out the life in his works. 
He had a great many famous paintings, and today his works are celebrated all over the world.